Hey there, the holidays are traditionally a time to pause in our hectic lives, gather together with family and friends and celebrate. However, if you've lost someone recently or maybe even not too recently, this can be a time of great sadness and grief. It's a painful reminder that that person is no longer here. So feelings of, of, of sadness may be here, of, of grief, of, of anger, of guilt. And um, then when you put that in contrast with seeing on all the social media or with family and friends that this is supposed to be a time to celebrate, you might get to a point where you say, I don't know how I'm actually going to make it through this time. And it's pretty tough to hold on to the expectations of being cheerful or celebrating at all. And so today I want to talk to you about seven ways you can move through the Hollywood grief with greater grace and resiliency. If you're new here, then my name is Dr. Elisha Goldstein. I'm a clinical psychologist, I'm the creator of the Mindful Living Collective, and founder of the Breakthrough Personal Coaching Program, Uncover the Power Within, where together we work to regain a sense of personal control over our mind and our life so we can focus more on what matters and ultimately enjoy life more. If you want to know more about that program, you can click on the link in the description below. Okay, so today, here are seven things, seven ways we can move through this holiday time with a greater sense of grace and resiliency. So the very first thing that we need to know and hold in our mind and our heart if you're grieving during this time is to set wise expectations. If this is your very first holiday after a loss, um, we have to know that, or maybe your second and third, we have to know that everyone is on their own clock with grief. Grief is not a one-size-fits-all situation. And so just tune into your heart and your mind and just listen to what you need and be especially kind and compassionate to yourself during this time. Number two, see if there's space to find any light during this time. Um, see if you can notice any moments where there's others who are having a good moment or provide a sense of lightness even for yourself, even if it's the comedy of a particular show or the connection of someone that you do love that's there. Um, or maybe simply being surprised by a gift or the taste of the sweets or the pie during this time or something like that. Or even maybe it's it's after the holiday when there's a sense of relief that it's finally over. See if you can notice those, those lighter moments during this time and just see how it feels in the body and just kind of take it in um, and say to yourself in that, in that moment, hey, this is a good moment. And you know what, even during this time, there are some lighter moments um, and I'm just going to allow myself to just be appreciative for this mediating during this time. Number three, let others know that it's okay to have the emotions that you're having. There might be people who want to cheer you up or make you feel better or um, get you to you know, get involved. And that may not be where you're at or how you're feeling. So it's okay to just let others know that you're okay with the emotions that are coming up for you. Number four, know your limits and give yourself permission to adhere to them. In other words, it's okay if you don't want to participate in everything. And you may need to take a break. And this piggybacks on the previous one of just let others know that's okay. You may need to go take a walk or lie down or go into a room and cry. These emotions are here and so it's important for them to come and go and pass through. So give yourself permission, just know your limits and really take care of yourself. Number five, spend time with the person who has passed. You might wanna create a ritual um, where you get to express how you feel and um, allow that to come through you. Maybe that's lighting a candle and talking about the person, or maybe it's visiting the gravestone or wherever you feel the person's presence, or maybe it's doing something fun and baking the person's favorite treat, or maybe just spending quiet time in prayer, uh, and, and that could be the time. You create your own idea. Allow this to also be a time of the connection with the person who's passed. Number six, giving is a wonderful way to move through grief. Altruism has been found to be a great mediator 
of grief and allows us to get our it's outside of ourselves also for loneliness too creates a sense of connection that's there so consider what you may want to do maybe the person who's passed had a cause that they really loved and so you can begin to get involved in some way or maybe it's just visiting a food bank and helping out there or maybe just send, spend time in your mind and body with a growing compassion practice i'll provide a link to that practice below um, or something something like that. Go ahead and make it your own. Try it out and see what you notice. Number seven, and this may be one of the most important ones, it may be a wonderful opportunity and idea to join a group of people who are also talking about this on a regular basis, normalizing it. Uh, so it doesn't stay in the shadows, this sense of grief, which it can in our, in our everyday lives, in our culture. And so um, a wonderful peer-based group or maybe individual therapy and support is a wonderful way to um, begin to process these feelings that are here. So consider that for a moment. Is this something that I'm needing right now is more individual support around this grief? And if so, this is there's not a better time than to go ahead and seek that out and get the support that you actually need. Overall, just treat yourself with a lot of love and kindness during this time, considering what you're really needing, pay attention to your needs, and giving yourself complete permission to acknowledge and move in the direction of those needs. It's important to spend time reminiscing, um, even if that brings up grief, that may also bring up laughter and joy and different types of tears that are there, and that's okay. Um, and then it's also important to live in the present moment and to um, take care of yourself, understanding that you know this too shall pass. The holiday times are an intense time where this arises. Um, or if you're watching this at a time that's not a holiday time, there's just anniversaries during the year where it creates a bit more intensity um, of the emotion. Just knowing that I can honor this and be with it and give myself permission. Also paying attention to other things in life too when there's time for that. And then just knowing that this too shall pass. Um, please feel free to share whatever is supportive to you during your time of grief. Or if you've gone through that in the past, what's been most supportive to you? Go ahead and, and comment in the comment section below. And we can come together in a, as a community and allow that to be kind of a crowdsourced sense of supporting each other during this time. If you found this valuable and supportive in some way, make sure to like it and then also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What that does is that says to YouTube, hey, this is something that's valuable and it'll share it more readily and other people will see it to be able to bring into their hearts and their lives to make a difference for them. If you want to work with me more directly to really uncover the power within yourself, then go ahead and click on the link in the description below to find out more about that. Otherwise, I'm going to leave a couple videos on the end here for you to really enjoy, and I'll see you there.